Hello and welcome to another one of Dynamic CCTV technical videos. My name is Nathan Garner. I'm the technical pre-sales and project manager here at Dynamic CCTV. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new IP Hikvision IP speaker through the Hike Central licensed VMS software. So we're just going to take a quick look at some of the features and functions that you can actually utilize when you use the IP speaker module on Hike Central with the Hikvision IP speakers. So if we first go to our license details, you can see I've got our license added here and you can see I've got the ability to add up to four speakers with the license that I've actually got on my Hike Central server here. If I go into our physical view, which is where we're going to add our physical devices in the Hike Central platform, you can see I've already got an IP camera added to the server and I've also got an IP speaker added to our server as well. Now there's a few different functions that you can do with the Hikvision IP speaker through Hike Central. So you can have live audio and through the control clients on PCs. You can also schedule pre-recorded messages to play at certain intervals. So this could be used for class changes or anything like that in schools and colleges. You can also have events set up where it will play a pre-recorded message depending on the event that has been actually configured. But in order to actually upload the pre-record messages, these need to be done through this page here. So you can see we've got audio file management at the top, and then we can select upload audio file there. If I click on browse, and then I'm just gonna select the IP speaker test two as the audio that I want to upload, click on open and import that. So now that's actually imported into the IP speaker. What we can then do is if we go back to our home page and go back to our physical view, we then select our IP camera. Then go to our IP speaker again, click on device name. And you can see all of our details are in there. And then if we go into logical view, we can then see our IP camera. So this is the different kind of groups that you can set up within Hike Central. You can see we've got an IP speaker tab there. And if we click on the IP speaker, we have a couple of different options in here. So we can change the name of the IP speaker itself, the actual volume that the speaker will play out, and we can also enter in an audio plan. So this is where you want to set up a message to be played at specific time intervals. So you can do this per day, per hour, and have it repeat on different days. So if you click on add plan, and then if we just call it CCTV, and the effective period is that from when you want the actual message to be played, so the dates, so I'm just going to put in the start date and then the end date at the 28th of this month. Click on OK. And the days highlighted are the dates in which we want to repeat that message to be played. So if it's only during weekdays, you can deselect Saturday and Sunday. And then if we click on Save, you can then see it to create the plan called Dynamic CCTV. And then we have the ability to then add in a task. So if I type in a task name of test audio and I want to play this at 11.32 and I want to select the audio in which I want to play which is just the test file that I've uploaded already to the camera. Click on add, click save and then save on that page. Now when it gets to 11.32, um, the speaker will then play the pre-recorded message that I've just uploaded to the unit, which would start playing any second now.
Now you might have just been able to hear that on the microphone um, with the pre-recorded message playing there. So you can upload multiple different pre-recorded messages and have different uh, schedules set for those as the actual plans are configured for the units. On them. If we go into our IP camera, at the bottom of the IP camera page we've got an option to link an IP speaker so this is for the event side of things so we're just going to add in our IP speaker into here and click add and just save that now what this then allows us to do is be able to have a pre-recorded message play on the IP speaker if an event's triggered on the actual camera itself so we can go into our event and alarm section, go to add, and then on the camera I want it to be line crossing, and if we can actually I'll set up motion detection on this one because it's the new motion 2.0 that's on this camera, and go select it from the IP camera as the source. And then I want to set the action to link IP speaker. So this allows you to select the speaker that you want to trigger when the motion detection event is actually triggered on the camera itself. So if I click on add and then select our IP speaker, click on add, and then it then gives us a drop down list of the actual audio message that we want to play through the speaker when that event's triggered. I'm just going to select IP speaker test 2 and then click on add and trigger alarm. Close that. And then add that in as well. So now I can actually test this. If I click on here and just this allows us to be able to test the event configuration. So if I click on this, it'll actually trigger the, the audio message from the actual speaker itself. If you have multiple Hikvision IP speakers added into Hike Central, you can link them to different cameras, or you can actually trigger a whole site audio system if you've got multiple Hikvision IP speakers added. What I'm now going to do is just open up the control client for Hike Central. Just log in. So you can see on the control client, it's similar to how we'd normally see the actual software itself, but we do now have the option for IP speaker. So I can click on this and it will then bring me up the actual IP speaker control. So I can select the IP speaker and I can start then speaking out of the actual speaker, uh, which I won't do on this video just because it will cause um, an audio loop and we'll get quite a bit of feedback with the speakers being so close to my laptop here. Um, but this allows you to speak out different speakers and you can also actually broadcast out to multiple IP speakers from the Hike Central Control client, whether they be on remote sites, on the same site, and you can link all these through the Hike Central platform and have a centralized place to be able to control them and also configure different bits with the actual IP speakers. So that's just a quick look at the Hikvision IP speaker solution through the Hike Central VMS platform. If you have any more questions, please feel free to get in contact with us here at Dynamic CCTV and speak to our project team at project at dynamic-cctv.com. So I hope you found this video useful and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.